Hi everybody, hola, I am R. Sky Palkowitz. And it's Ryan Wolowski. We're here at the United States and Mexican border for Nogales, Sonora. We just crossed over the border. We spent the day in Mexico. We had a great time. And uh, we were checking out the scene and what it would be like. We thought there might be a line for a few hours, but we actually walked right through the same way we walked right in. No time at all, no hassle. They didn't even body check us. Well, let's talk about when we did walk in though, because we are able to update you on the recommendation of whether or not you actually need one of these babies, the passport. When you walk into Mexico right now in Nogales, Sonora, you literally just do that. You walk in, there's no body search, there's no scan, and a lot of people may just come to the border and say, oh, I, I don't need ID, I'll just cross right over. You don't need ID to get into Nogales, Sonora. It's but early. if you want to leave... We did speak to the woman who was uh, doing the passport checks and One of the policia checks. officers. And we said, you know, what if I were to just walk over and I only had my license in my pocket? Because when we were when we were leaving Nogales, Sonora, Mexico, we saw people just sliding their license and Sky had her license handy and not her passport. It was in the bottom of her bag. So she just pulled it out and she said, can I just give you this? And she said, no. She does need, want the passport. We need but the passport. what she did say is if you don't have your passport and you are a U.S. citizen, You'll get out of the country. It'll just take a whole long time. Now, if you're visiting Arizona and you want to cross the border and you are from another country and you're here on a visa, you will in fact need a visa to go back and forth across to Mexico and then back to America. It's going to be tricky if you're visiting from somewhere else. You come to the United States and want to do the border crossing. I had a great time. I thought things were relatively inexpensive and I got some really great bargains, blankets, jewelry. We got some sculpture, some art. But one of the most interesting things to me is coming back off the border, being back in the U.S., there are a, a bunch of people standing who want to offer you taxi cab rides to Phoenix or to Tucson. The price is $12 for a ride to Tucson, which is about an hour and a half away, and the price is $15 if you want to go all the way to Phoenix, which is about two and a half hours. Now, what's interesting about that? Well, let's see. One country to another city for $12. When I got off the plane at Tucson, Arizona, I had to pay $30 just to take a shuttle to my hotel, which was five miles away. Now, Nogales, Sonora lacks diversity, and Sky was the first person to notice that. So tell us, what did you see in Nogales, Sonora, as far I as saw diversity goes? a lot of Mexican people, Only a lot of diverse Mexican. Mexican people, but there were no... No African Americans, no, no yeah. Asians. No Americans for that matter. I think we were the only white or American people there. And right now there actually is a, a warning from the United States government about visiting Nogales, Sonora because there was a shooting during the daytime. So there actually is a warning right now and that could have a lot to do with the lack of diversity. And but when we were there in Nogales, Sonora, I would have to say the English was impeccable. Yeah, everybody the, knew English. the dialect was not even Mex-American. They were really, really excellent speakers as far as I thought that the shopkeepers were able to handle the English language. A plus. And I was actually quite surprised by that because when I visited Tijuana and Cozumel and Cancun, you know, sometimes it's hard to dialogue with people and it was really easy here. If you want a different experience, you want to get out of the country for a day or two and you happen to be in Tucson, Arizona or anywhere nearby, take the trek. It's worth a day. Go to Nogales, Mexico and have fun. And we actually were able to walk along the fence line and touch the actual fence and border that surround the United States and Mexico. I mean, there's the cultural aspect, there's the shopping aspect, and you can even look at the politi political aspect of what it's like to cross the border, you know, and not be needing any documentation to leave the country and really, you know, needing it to get back. And I'm actually happy that we are back. I had a great time in Mexico, and I will go back again. I'm R. Sky Palkowitz. I'm Ryan Wolowski. Adios, amigos. Till next time.